Sweetie, don't shake anyone's hands today. What am I supposed to do? Oh, hi, you're spending $65,000 and don't shake their hands? I'm just gonna say hi! What if you get the swine flu? You didn't hear about that? I am not getting the swine flu. I, I'm immune against swine. <laughs> swine don't even like me. That's how, that's how it is. Yeah, but if you're constantly shaking hands with people in there... Didn't you say one guy has uh, came back from Cancun? Yeah. But he's not there now. He went on another trip. He went to, um, I don't know where, somewhere else. Acapulco? Yes, that's it. Did he really? No. Oh. <laughs> I won't shake anyone's hand. Because I don't want to get unusual. Well, why don't you just kind of like open your arm and say, Hi, welcome. Hi, not. Oh. Uh, Right. Or you could just say, you just hear about the swine flu, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh, I just heard about the swine flu. Wait, did you just come back from Mexico? You know, how is that possible? Well, don't touch your face when you're making a deal with them. Don't touch your face. Don't do anything with your hands. Don't even eat with them until you wash them completely. How am I going to suck food down? <laughs> no, wash your hands between every meeting. In fact, after you shake their hands and they sit down at your desk, just pardon yourself for a moment to wash your hands. <laughs> when you slip off to go see the manager, that's not going to help you. No. You have to wash it with soap and warm water. And then if you come back and if you wish to extra sanitize your hands, then you can. What's wrong with the antibacterial? Because it only kills little bacteria and it, it's like spreading them around. And it's, it's like smearing dead germs on your hands when the big bacteria doesn't get killed and has more room to grow. That's what my doctor said. Really? Yes. I have no idea.